What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here at Journey at Pachanga. We're here at the range. It looks awesome today and we're going to do a little tips with Tish for you. So I often get the question of which arm do you lead with? Do you lead with your right? Do you lead with your left? Do you lead with your hands? Do you lead with your, your elbow? What have you? I'm going to break it down for you right now. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, so let's get started. So do we start with your right arm or your left arm, whether you're right or left-handed? Well, in simplest terms, to save you the time, the answer is neither. Because the thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're always using the big muscles in your body. You don't wanna actually have to lift your wrist or bend your elbow or forcefully have to use your little muscles. Think about if you're under the gun and you're super nervous, you can't rely on the muscles that are gonna shake the most. Whenever you're super nervous, the sturdiest part of your body is going to be your center, your upper torso, your hips, your butt. So you wanna be swinging with the bigger muscles. You wanna make sure that the dog is wagging the tail as opposed to the tail wagging the dog. That's one that I learned from the Ledbetter Golf Academy. So here's a good way to get started to make sure that you're nice and connected so that you don't need to rely on either your right or left arm to start your swing. So here we go. So the most important thing is making sure that at setup, we now know that grip, stance, alignment, and posture is very important. So we, now we know how to do that. You want to overemphasize connection. Now, how you feel connected, that's up to you. The way I like to feel connected is this way. Before I set up, I like to feel like I lift my arms a little over my body, just like so. So I feel like my, the underside of my arms, kind of like my armpit area, is a little pinched to my, to my chest area. Now, for my girls out there who have a bit of a bigger chest, you can just connect it to the side of yourself as opposed to on top like guys can. For myself, I can kind of go in between here. So I like to connect myself by lifting up my arms, feeling like my armpits, my armpits are nice and pinched. And then from here, I will get set up. And now I already feel like my, from my elbow up, it's connected to my upper torso. I feel like everywhere my upper body turns, so will that point on. So from there, you can now let the dog wag the tail per se. So once you get set up, if you already have tension in your right or your left forearm, you are likely gripping the club wrong. So what you wanna make sure is in your grip to help alleviate tension in your forearms is making sure that your pressure points, if you're right-handed, are the bottom three fingers of your left hand and the trigger finger on your right hand. If you are putting any pressure in your thumbs and you're pinching your golf club, you are likely to struggle. So if you're pinching your club or your, your hands on your grip, you will already have tension in your forearm. So that's the first mistake before you even begin your swing. So make sure the pressure points are correct. Once your pressure points are correct, you can now relax your forearms, make sure you're nice and pinched and connected. And from here, you want to use your, your upper torso and your core, and you want it to allow that to swing the club up. There's no need to lift at the start of your swing. You literally just relax your, your longer parts of your limbs, your fingers, your wrists, and allow your body to take it just like this. Nice and relaxed, just like that. A good drill for you to see if you are adding any tension or flexion in your swing is by literally taking swings and closing your eyes. You can try it with a golf ball in front of you if you're brave enough, you don't have to, but just close your eyes and swing because that way you are going to be able to feel where you are adding some flexion. If you're forcing your left arm straight, you're bound to have injury. You're not relaxing there. If you are initiating your swing on your downswing by forcing your hands down, you're also adding everything. Again, you have to make sure you're focusing on staying connected and allowing gravity and momentum to help you bring your swing down. So again, I'll do another, I'll do another shot. Go through the motions, I get my grip on. I feel nice and connected. We're nice and lined up here. We're bent over from the hip. No tension in my forearm so that I don't lead with my right or left arm, staying relaxed. just like that. All right, you guys, so that's my tips with Tish. So when people ask you, do I start with my right? Do I start with my left? The answer is 
neither. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button so you don't miss a beat. That bird just said it too. Bye for now. That was pretty damn good. <laughs> I just came up with that shit. <laughs> no.